Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. We're going to have a reading for your zodiac sign for the month of July 2022. Are you ready? Let's get going. So first, I'm going to unpack, unwrap my tarot deck, my crystal pendulum that I like to keep on top of my tarot deck. And we'll place the cloth off to the side here. We're all set. Let's get going. This tarot card reading is being given for people born under the zodiac sign of Gemini. Their birth dates range from May 21st through June 20th. Now this reading is for them for the month of July 2022. To begin, I'm going to cut and shuffle the deck three times. So there's one cut and here's one shuffle. second cut and we have the second shuffle we have the third cut and we have the third shuffle now with my left hand because it's associated with the right side of the brain which is the most intuitive part of the brain I'm going to put the cards into a fan, move the pendulum over a little bit here, and there's our fan. With the left hand, I draw three randomly selected cards. One, here's one that's aching to be talked to, okay, and we've got this one here. There we go, one, two, three. The rest of the cards are put back into the deck and set off to the side. Now I bring down the cards and center them for you. And I'll give you a close up so you have a better view. The first card represents what you need to let go of for the month of July as a Gemini. And that card is brought to you by the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant, the Pope. Interchangeable names there. And the second card, what you need to know for the month of July as a Gemini. That card is the King of Wands. The third card, and I will explain these cards after they're all turned over is representing upcoming opportunity and that's being done through the nine of cups there you go all right now let's talk about the herald font card which represents what you need to let go of for the month of july the herald font card represents organizations learning teaching groups institutions dogma religion the Hierophant card is the embodiment of ritual, tradition, and conformity. He or she can be interpreted as the need for acceptance from others and to fit in with society. The Hierophant suggests adherence to rules and principles, which could indicate being part of a group of people, whether taking the role of mentor or regular group member. The established system of rules is comforting. Because this card is in the position of what to let go of, you let go of your conformity. Not do go out and do things illegal, but don't worry so hard, hard don't worry so hard about what everyone else is doing. Trying to be 
a little stamped clone just like everyone else. You need to step out of that and think about those things, okay? Get out, uh, don't, if you're in a group, don't participate in the group. If you're the leader of a group, take a little absence from that. Be your own person for the month of July. So let this go because you need to focus on the rest of the month. And this is going to interfere with that if you don't let that go. The next card is King of Wands. And it represents what you need to know for July. The King of Wands is masculine, businessman, powerful, courageous, creative, willful. The King symbolizes long-term success as a leader. He has the same passion as the other cards, but the maturity to strive. And that's what you need to know. You need to muster up your, your maturity and you need to strive. You could get into a good time for off, um, business opportunities. So think about that, okay? And here, it's not a group effort. It's you. It's you. All right. That's what you need to know. Now let's look at your upcoming opportunity. The Nine of Cups card is fulfillment. Happiness, prosperity, fortunate, healthy, gain, abundance. The Nine indicates satisfaction and appreciation for emotional and material accomplishment. So doesn't that sound like it chimes nicely with this? You're going to appreciate your accomplishments. In doing so, that's where your opportunity comes from, okay? Now, exactly what form that opportunity will come in, I do not know. Uh, possibly something to do with finances or business. But here, you know that you need to be uh, strong. We talk about a businessman and moving forward with that. And here, you've got your accomplishments, right? So. Together through this is where your opportunity is going to lie. And don't let this interfere with the good things going on over here in what you need to know and your upcoming opportunities. Now that's about all I have to say for the cards, so I'm going to double check with the pendulum. Has this tarot reading been given for the best of people born under the zodiac sign of Gemini for the month of July. Okay, we have a great big yes. Counterclockwise indicates yes. A counterclockwise circle. No is the opposite direction. Now this is my higher consciousness telling me the answer is yes through the ideal motor reflex. In other words, it moves the little tiny muscles in my hand which moves the pendulum. I'm trying to stay steady. All right, so a good reading, a very nice reading. I would like you to know that I also give personal tarot card readings and or pendulum dowsings. If you're interested in that, please contact me at lyman.holton at yahoo.com. And in that email include whatever questions you might have or whatever information you think you should give me. And what I will do is make a video of that reading or dowsing and send you a private link. After you view the video, you decide what was it worth to you? And then you go to my YouTube channel and on the top right portion of the page, you'll see a place where it says donate to my channel and that's through PayPal. And what you do is you put in whatever sum you feel matches what you thought of the reading. So I cannot be more fair than that and there's no way I can take advantage of you, cheat you, hurt you, or anything like that, right? Because that's just not who I am. I like giving the readings, and I want to be fair to everybody. So, 
That's the end of this reading. I hope this was a great tarot card reading for you. For the month of July 2022, I wish you all the luck in the world and your dreams come true in July. Please come back and see me again next month. I'm always right here. Goodbye for now.